Hi, we've got the Tippmann Crossover XVR here in front of us today. And we're going to take a closer look at the toolless bolt removal. Uh, this is a feature usually found just on higher end guns. And Tippmann does take a unique approach to it. So we're going to do a, a real close look at this and tear it down and see what's inside. So the first thing is you press this little button in and hold on to the back cap. And you can pull that out. And what that does is that gives you an easy way to grab and unscrew the spool valve. Pops right out. Spring and all, and that gives you full access through the whole gun. Now what we're looking at today is just this back cap here. So to gain access to that, we remove just this very back O-ring, which will release a pin right there. At which point, I can give this a wiggle and a push of the knob in the back again. And out comes the knob. And they have some pretty unique names for these. This is the knob and this is the base. So also, so set down inside this base is the spring which provides the back pressure for that pin comes out. We'll go ahead and set that aside. There's your spring. That's the O-ring that was on the base. Now this is where you want to be careful. There are two ball bearings, one on either side uh, that that lock things in place. We don't want to lose those. So as this pin comes out, you see that those start to drop away. There's nothing really holding those in place other than the pin from the inside plunger plunger from the inside and then when you insert the cap in the uh, cap into the base they're held in there uh, other than that there's nothing holding them in but that's it that's all the pieces to that uh, toolless removal so we'll do it we'll uh, put it back real quick and just in the reverse order now you don't want to lose these right so, drop our pin back through. Oops. And you want to line it up with this flat surface facing the holes. and just set the ball on there. Now what we don't want to do is lose that, so I'm just going to take a little bit of grease off my bolt here and smear it down into that hole. It's not really going to do anything except for hold that ball in place as I turn it over so I can do the other side. And again, I'm just going to take a little bit of grease smear it down to that hole to make it kind of stick there. Okay. At this point we can drop our spring down in. Set the cap on there, make sure the spring lines up. And now we're trying to line up the hole 
here that goes through for the pin. There we go. I heard it snap into place. Okay, we've got to pin our, our pin in place and I'll center it on the body. Our o ring back on. That's it. It's good to go. Slides right back into the gun. Screws on. And just hand snug. This doesn't need to be cranked on. And when you're done screwing that in, press and push. That's it. That's the toolless end cap on the Crossover XVR.